Hola, Yugis. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? It's great that you make this time to be on the mat with me today. And today I am going to share with you a sweet hip opening flow. So for those of you who are doing a lot of sports lately or a lot of walking or running or cycling or hiking, or you've been just sitting at your desk for very long or you've been just playing video games all night, this is good for all of you. With that being said, I'll see you on the mat standing. See you on the mat. All right, we are all here standing on our mats. It would be nice if you have a stool or chair or table next to you just for stability. Uh, in some of the movements we're going to go through uh, later on. All right, so stand in the middle of your mat, take a breath in and out. In and out. How do you feel now? Explore the sensations in these movements, in the breaths that you're making. Take a big inhale, lift your arms up. And bring hands together at heart center. Well, we'll start the flow by gently moving our hips side to side and twisting, rotating it side to side. All right. So take a big inhale here in the center, exhale, push the arms out and turn your neck back. Rotate your hip to the right, push your left arm up and right arm down. Inhale back to center, right arm up, left arm down, rotate the hip to forward the left and gaze back. Just like this, feel round, be playful. Get lazy, stretch it out. back to center, keep the feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And just sway it side to side, like this, what they do, the old people do in the morning, very lazy and slow and gentle and soft, a few times clockwise and a few times anti-clockwise. Kind of also like shaking the booties <laughs> in a very soft way. Oh, let the flood blow. Float, not blow. <laughs> All right, come back to center. Now we will use this uh, for stability and just. Uh, if you are um, doing on your left leg, then put the weight on your right leg and the, the, the chair on your right side for stability and just sway the left leg back and back and forth. Try to maintain the upper body up straight, not shaking together with the legs. It's like we're only shaking the legs from hip below. So this is also to create strength in our hip joints. And a few times to the side. The chair is really helpful, you know, it's uh, just to keep your upper body up tight, the core straight, and we're just working on that legs to control the leg movement with our hip. Mm. 
And once you are done, come back to center, lift that left knee and bring it close to your chest with your arms and open your chest. Hinge your shoulder blades together, chest open. And from here, you can use the chair for stability again for support. Open the knee to the side, as wide as open as you can, just to open the hip. Maintain the right hip in the same position, just opening the left and bring it back. Hold the knee with the right hand, twist the body to the left, and gently reach your left hand back. Gaze follow. And gently press the leg down, or we'll just take a big inhale. Exhale, change side. Okay. Hold the chair with your left hand, and we'll just sway the right leg back and forth. Put the weight on the left leg, and sway the right leg. As high as you can, but maintain the upper body position. Let's come back to center and to the side. And come back to center. Bring the knee to the chest. Hold it tight. Lift your upper body up. Inhale. And so here. Very forward. Keep the smile on your face. Relax. The facial muscles don't be uptight. We're just playing here. Exploring feelings. And open the knee to the side. Keep the left hip in position. And bring it back. Left hand on the knee, twist to the right, and reach the right hand backwards. Okay, so control the balance and gently bring the leg down, the feet down. We'll just take a connecting breath here as we move into the next part. I will blow. We'll sit out, soft down. Oh, before we do that, you might want to bring, take, uh, move the chair away. <laughs> Make some space for the flow. Yes, perfect. Okay, now we'll sit down on our mat. I'm gonna be facing you guys. Okay, legs out in front of us and toes flex. Now put bend the right knee and bring the right foot. I'm just a little bit on top of the left knee and open the right hip up. Let's try to press the right knee down with the right hand very gently until you cannot, until that you reach that edge and stay there. If you want to have some more sensations, you can just try to move the right knee uh, in a circle direction. A few times to the right, a few times to the left. Just explore the feelings in your right hip. Or you can just stay in stillness, keep that right knee open. We're just exploring together. Our bodies are very different, so do whatever that is good for your body. Once you are ready, we'll come back to stillness and bring, um, we'll bring the sole of your right foot into the inner side of your left elbow um, and then hold the right shin with your arms wrapped around it and bring it closer to your chest. Maintain the upper body in an upward position. Like holding a baby, sway side to side. Sway 
away side to side. Feel the sensations. And gently place it down, stretch it out. We will bring the left foot on top of your right knee, slightly up and above your right knee. Sit up and tall, ground both sit bones down. Gently press down the left knee through your left hand. Open the left hip. A little bit more when you exhale. And rotate the knees a few times to the right, a few times to the left. Or you can just stay in stillness. Just purely feel the stretch, the openness. As we did on the right side, we will place the sole of the left foot on the inner side of your elbow, right elbow, and wrap around your left arm all the way to hold the left shin. Bring the shin closer to the chest. Keep your upper body tall and tight and sway your hips side to side, like holding a baby. And gently place the left foot down and bend the right. Place the soles of the foot, feet together in Baddha Konasana. Just stay in this Baddha Konasana or bend forward. Bring opening sensations a little bit more intense. Slowly lift your body up. Place the feet on the floor a bit wider and place the hands behind our hips pointing backwards. And we'll just sway the hips side to side, twisting the spine. Your arms can swing over as well, however you like it. Just be gentle. You can also stay twisted to the back. This ways are really good to release the tensions in the lower back. Now we'll gently come back to center. Sit yourself in the center of the mat and come into a Sukhasana pose. We go. Wiggle the body a few rounds to the left, a few rounds to the right. I love this wiggles. The spinal wiggles is really good for the blood flows. Make sure you wiggle with the breath. And now we we'll come into a tabletop. Come onto your hands and your knees and we'll come into the tabletop. Spine neutral and from here lift your right leg up and open the knee to the side. Flex your foot. Try to square your hip. Make sure that it's facing front still and we'll do open and close when you inhale close when you open exhale for five for four for three for two for one and keep it lifted and extend the right leg to the side and place the right foot down parallel to the mat, the foot parallel to the mat, and 
Bring your left hand just in line with your left knee. Open your chest to the right and open, reach your right hand up to the sky. Gaze forward. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, thread the needles underneath the left arm. Rest your right chin on the mat. Extend your left arm out. We'll stay here for three rounds of breaths. Feel the stretch of your shoulders, your upper back, your hip, your right inner thighs. Last breath in and out. Place the left hand back and lift your body once again. Open to the right, right arm lifted. And gently place your right hand on your lower back and use your core strength to lift yourself up. Square off your hip, face forward front of your mat and well come into a gaze po gay pose stretch to the right pointing the left hand to the right stretch on the left side of the body open the chest up don't round your back and now from here you can place the hand left hand behind your Bring behind your <laughs> head a little bit up on the neck and open even more. Like try to you try to um, bring your shoulder and chest open with your left elbows pointing towards back backwards and lift your body up and bend, pointing the right toes to the right side of the room. Bend the right leg and face, uh, twist your body to the left. Keep your left elbow open, open and swing it backwards. Feel this stretch, this counter force of your body and open your hips as well. Sway side to side with your hip opening movements and from here let's swing our body just use this momentum like you you swing your body with with your left elbow across the room and all the way pointing down to the floor and reach your left hand to the left side of the room right hand follow oh. No, your legs are still in the same positions. Stretch out your upper body. <clears throat> you can also make wave-like motions of your spine. By inhale, lift your chest up and exhale, bend your elbows, walk down your spine. A few times. As you like, as you explore your own body. And now slowly move your hands to the back, to the other side of your um, body, to the left side. We will come to a side stretch to the left. Stretch on the right side of the body. The right hand can even reach back uh, slightly, reach backwards and open your chest to the sky. A slightly back bend here. Hmm. Sucking all the oxygen as you can. And swing your body to face the front of your mat. Come back to a tabletop. How do you feel? I hope you feel very open up on this side already. Yes, I do. Now we'll bring it to the other side. Open the left knee to the side. Flex the toes. 
we will close and open for a few times, five times. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted, extend the legs, place the left foot on the floor parallel to the mat. Bring the right hand in line with your right knee. Open the chest to the left. Reach your left hand to the sky. Gaze follow. Exhale. Spread the, needle, spread, spread the needles all the way across to the right. Extend the right arm out in front of you. Close your eyes just to feel the stretch. This wonderful feeling is happening in your body. Now bring the right hand back and well stretch the arm all the way up again. Open to the left. Gently place the hands on the lower back and lift yourself up. Square your hips. To face front, or we'll come into a gaze, po gaze pose. Stretch your right side body. <clears throat> Cactus the arms to open the chest to the sky a little bit more. Feel the opening. Place the right hand behind your head and use it as a support. And you know. I'm pointing your right elbow all the way backwards. This helps you open up your chest even more. Just like guide with your elbow. And pointing the left toes to the left side and bend the left knee. Open the left hip, hip up to the left. Your left elbow can rest on your left knee. Open yourself to the right. It's like a twist, counter twisting. <sighs> and guide with the right elbow all the way, pointing, swing it, and pointing down towards the right side, the left side, and reach your arms all the way out. Maintain your legs in the same position. Just to reach, 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 raise your hands. Fingertips on the floor and we'll just wave out your spines. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bend it down. And then we'll move our hands all the way to the right side and come into a stretch on the left side. Left hand can reach a slightly backward to the back of our room and come into a slight back bend. Open the chest to the sky. And now swing your arms all the way down to face forward. We'll come into a tabletop. Stabilize your breath here. Now we'll gently come to the side of our body, whichever side you choose. I'm gonna come on to our on my left side first. We'll go to the other side later on. Bend your left arm and rest your head on your left hand. Bend the knees. We'll do 10, ten times climb. Uh, these two movements are actually from Pilates, but they are also very effective in opening our hips and mobilize our hip joints. So we'll just include it in our flow to make it even more fun. All right. so. Um, you can place your right hand on top of your right glutes or hips, or you can just place it in front of you for support. 
Take inhale, exhale, open the right knee out to the sky, pointing to the sky. Maintain your feet together. Your feet are closing, closing with each other, like close the door, closed with each other. Inhale down, exhale up. For seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And now we are straighten our legs all the way back, pointing the toes, right hand in front of you for support. And take an inhale, exhale, lift the right leg up, pointing the toes. The legs are straight. Inhale down, exhale up. Four, seven. Four, six. Four, five. Four, four. Four, three. Four, two. Four, one. How do you feel? Okay, now let's go to the other side. I'm still gonna be facing you guys. You can just flip over on the same side. On the same, um, uh, flip over through your belly. The same on this side, knees bent. All right, take an inhale, exhale, open the left knee out and close. And exhale out, inhale, close, exhale out. For seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. All right, straighten the legs, pointing the toes, left hand for support, take an inhale, exhale, lift up, pointing the toes, legs straight, Exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale, down, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. All right, how do you feel? Now we'll come to lay on our back. Knees bent, arms reach out in front of you. Lower back on the floor. Now we'll lift our right knee closer to the chest and extend the legs. Lift the foot to the sky, extend the knees, and then bring the hands gently in the back of the knees and rubbing up and down. Just give yourself a gentle touch or massage at the back of your legs. In the meantime, pointing and flexing your toes just to feel the stretch and contraction on your hamstring and on your ankles. Lower back on the floor. If you can, you can also bring the legs closer to your body. Feel it. More intense stretch on our hamstrings. I will gently open the legs to the side. Open, open, open. Control with your right hand. Once, when your right leg is almost to the floor, and press it down with your right hand and extend your left leg out. Make sure your left sit bone is still grounded on the floor. Don't flip over your body to the right side. Then we are not opening our hips. If you cannot keep um, open, uh, ground your left sit bone to the floor, you don't have to open your right leg all the way to the side. You can lift it up to the edge until you feel like 
This is enough. And now take inhale here. Exhale, bring the right leg all the way across your body and to come into a twist to the left. Extend your right hand out to the right side, gaze to the right. Stretch it out, twist it out. We'll just shake off and, you know, this flow is really good for getting rid of all those negative energies and emotions stored in our hips, lower back. Let them go. And come back to center, bend the knees. Reach your hands out in front of you, in front of your head and lift the left leg, left knee to the chest. Extend the left leg. Bring the hands, wrap the hands behind your knee. Gentle massage in the back of your left leg. Pointing and flexing the toes. Just to feel. Feel the body thanking you for doing this to it. So you are ready, gently open the leg to the left side. Open, open, open. And press the uh, left hand. Help the legs uh, open out. I have the couch here, so. <laughs> and extend the right leg. Make sure the right sit bone is grounded on the floor. Cross it over to the right side. Twist. Left hand extended to the left side. Yes, follow. Relax your shoulders, your neck, your head. Feel into this twist. This is the last asana. No, actually, the last asana is Shavasana. Because we are almost there. And come back to center. And extend the legs out in front of you, behind of you, whatever. And rest the hands next to your body, palms up. Keep a smile on your face. Thank yourself for being here. For doing this to yourself, to your body, to feel good, to let the negativity out of you, then you will be welcoming more positive energies, emotions. Take a big inhale out through the mouth. Relax your body, your facial muscles. Feel the space that you created in your hips, in your lower body, in your lower back. Can pause the video and stay in the Shavasana for as long as you want. I wish you a good day. Namaste. See you next time.